Various public health experts have weighed in on the response from various countries around the discovery of the Omicron variant. Let's continue getting you more perspective now, bringing our next guest. Dr. Anjali Kutsia is the chair of the South African Medical Association and joins us now via our video link. Doc, always great getting your insights. Thanks very much indeed for making time. You have pushed back strongly against some of these countries imposing travel bans so hastily. Tell us why. Yes, good morning, and uh, I want to echo what my vice um, chair said just now, and um, we are of the same opinion. Uh, so you cannot uh, impose such restrictions hastily um, after scientists did due diligence and report what they have seen. At least South Africa is transparent in what we are seeing, and. Um, so, so, so the moment when our scientists told um, the world there that they have seen a new variant with more or less 30 mutations, 30 to 50, they don't really know what it means, whether it will mean something going forward, th they were clear about that. Immediately, it is like a knee-jerk reaction. Um, we have been put on the, on the red list um, nearly across the world. Uh, I, I need to say, no one can say that it started in South Africa. There's speculations that it come from Botswana. But if you look at the current data coming from the rest of Europe, they are also seen in, in Europe. And our, my suspicion is because our scientists are um, very alert and doing a lot of sequencing in the background, that maybe those European countries missed it because of the symptoms. The symptoms is not the same than Delta. It's very similar to Beta. And you can easily miss the symptoms. And I think what happened with us in South Africa as clinicians, the, thing, the fact is that we have nearly seen virtually maybe one or two patients per week the, the past eight weeks, eight to ten weeks on, 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 on COVID-19 related uh, symptoms. And when we all of a sudden saw people coming in, young people, especially men, complaining of, of this um, uh, uh, extreme fatigue and uh, body ache and pain with headaches, a bit of a scratchy throat, uh, we then started to test again. And uh, we found it positive. And we, as I've said, uh, we, we alerted uh, the, the advisory council and said, listen, there's um, new symptoms and it's not Delta. So we were lucky that we had a break in between and saw the new symptoms. But now... Um, we are being the villains. It, it's not right. It, mm. it should never happen like that. that, like that. And, and, it's, and if, if the, the world wants transparency, they would de need to deal much better with this type of, of data that's made, been made available. You say the symptoms uh, appear to be similar to that of the beta variant. Are you able to tell us a bit more about their severity, at least from your vantage point? Okay, so... I have also consulted with other general practitioners in the Pretoria Midrand region, and we all more or less see the same. It's very, very mild symptoms. Uh, as I've said, that body aches and pains, um, extreme tiredness with a bit of a scratchy throat, no loss of smell or taste, no oxygen um, levels dropping at this stage. We are seeing extremely mild cases, easily treated at home. I'm not aware of any of the GPs that I've spoke to with this, uh, the, this last uh, past 24 hours who had admitted one patient, not even me. We haven't admitted them. And if you look at the stats, in Gauteng, there's only 2,629 out of 10,000 cases that's been reported. Yes, the whole picture might change going forward. But for now, um, I think it's important to, to know that there's a, a new variant. Um, you need to know, alert the public to what the symptoms are. But it's not to impose travel restrictions on South Africa, as if, uh, you know, again, we are the bad people in the, in the world. If, if the rest of the world want no new variants um, to be developed or evolving, they have to start with a project where they vaccinate Africa, because that's where it's going to start. And we have said it before. We have said that new variants will come from Africa, especially HIV patients, unvaccinated. That's not new. And we have said that we are going to see a, a fourth wave. It's not new. 
And we are still saying to the people out there in the, in the country of South Africa, please get vaccinated. We will only know in about two or three weeks from now on whether the vaccinated people are being kept out of hospital. For now, we do see infections in the vaccinated people, again, extremely mild, mm. but a big high change. Right. What's your response, Dr. Kutsia, to governments that are saying, the last time we were here, we came under fire for not responding quick enough when new variants were emerging. Now that we are, we're still coming under fire. It almost seems that they, they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. What's your response to that kind of uh, retort? I, I, think, I think what we need to do, one need to, um, because this is something I have noticed. Everyone is going on about the science behind the, the um, variants. And very little is, uh, is ever communicated around the symptoms. So um, if you as a country wants to, 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 to protect your own people, look at what is happening. Alert your people. So there might be possibility of this going forward. But there's no ways that you can just have this type of knee-jerk reaction and say, now you are safe. You know, you're never going to be safe. I can promise you. That's the, um, if you look at, especially in the UK, they've got a high number of cases. Look at Netherlands. Their index of cases are extremely high. And I'm telling you, they have already been seeing this variant without them knowing it. And now you want to, to po uh, impose restrictions? I would rather do it differently. I would sit with the countries. I would say, look at the clinical picture, look at the signs, and see how many people are affected. And then say, what can we do? What is the stats on the vaccinated people versus non-vaccinated people? But to do it the way that you are doing, uh, that has been done to South Africa, is totally un unacceptable. I, mm. I, I cannot, I, I'm sorry, there's no way that I can go with it. There is a lot of reaction to what the international community has done in response to Omicron. There's anticipation to what we here at home are going to do in response to the mutation itself. If history is anything to go by, the president is going to speak soon. Speculation already that that soon might be tonight. There's been no official confirmation. But as far as you're concerned, if the answer is not a lockdown, really, because of the economic fallout, what should the president say the moment he speaks? Restrictions on mass gatherings. That's, that's where it started, and that's what you need to stop. The raves, I'm sorry, I know that the young people want to rave, but you can go and rave after you have been vaccinated and make sure that the whole rave group has been vaccinated. Otherwise, that should not happen. Um, we need to be strict on, on, on that. We know December is going to, 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 to come. Um, people are going to gather again. So get vaccinated and stop mass gatherings. That's where I would start, um, the, uh, you know, and, and on all these... Um, messages out there that, you know, you're going to die if you get vaccinated in three years from now on, or I, I don't know, you know, I have now started to block people on my cell phone, sending me these horrible messages and telling me how bad I am for being um, uh, advocating for people to be vaccinated. I don't need that, and the country doesn't need that. So either you get vaccinated or you take the responsibility of getting your variant diseases and, um, and see what happens. Uh, but we, we need to make a stance, and you need to take responsibility. Each and every person out there in the Republic of South Africa need to start taking responsibility. It's not only government's responsibility, but it's you, first to yourself, then to your loved ones, then to the people around you. Um, and, and I think that should be very, very clear going forward. Dr. Angelique Kutsia, always great uh, getting your insights on these issues. Thanks very much indeed for speaking to us. Really do appreciate it. Dr. Kutsia is the chair of the South African Medical Association. Thanks very much indeed.